Hi, today we will learn how to use Rocket Simulator. First, we open the program. On the first screen, we see the help of the tooltips uh, uh, screen, which shows us uh, important uh, tooltips and uh, educate, educating uh, data about all sorts of uh, components and uh, rockets and missile systems. It is very advisable that you go over these uh, uh, tooltips and read them. They are very short, very informative. Uh, also, they are divided into certain uh, subjects like uh, main, which are systems, missile systems, uh, also rockets. You can scroll by using uh, the mouse, pressing the mouse and using them uh, and moving it. You can read them out loud by pressing the loudspeaker. David Sling. Okay. David Sling. It's very interesting. Also sometimes called so stop, Magic Wand. Simply press any screen here. To move to the next tooltip, press next. Okay. To move to a specific uh, subdivision, uh, press this tab. For example, these are about missiles, very interesting tooltips. These are about rockets, rocket motor. These are about aerodynamic configurations. These are about warheads, very interesting theory. Uh, these are about fuse, uh, how proximity fuse works, etc. These are about guidance, about guidance types, etc. Very interesting, very recommended to read. Then, okay, let's move on to design a missile. On this screen, you can see our generic uh, sample, which is called the new missile. Inside this generic sample, you have uh, certain divisions uh, for each component or uh, system inside this missile. For example, the missile itself is called new missile. The aerodynamic configuration is called new config. The rocket motor is called new motor, warhead, guidance, launcher, etc. Each of these can be configured here. For example, rocket motor config configured here. Uh, aerodynamics configured here, warhead configured here, etc. Okay, let's see what this missile can do. Okay, first you make a test fire. When you press fire, the missile is uh, simulated as if flying at low level altitude, at sea level, and uh, without uh, the effects of uh, gravity, but with the effects of aerodynamic uh, drag. This is a vital tool to help you see if the motor and the aerodynamic configurations work well together. Okay, let's see what happens. When you press fire, you can see the graph of the velocity versus time. Okay, you can see which uh, velocity meters per second this missile reaches, the time, the flight, uh, you can see what Mach number it works by pressing M Mach number. You can see what type of acceleration this missile can achieve. For example, this is the maximum uh, uh, maneuver in G this missile can achieve during its uh, flight. Okay, as long as it's, as it's about about four, it's okay. When it's below four, it's ineffective. Actually, it self-destructs. Uh, and also, you can see the range it can achieve uh, in undisturbed flight. Now, let's uh, configure this uh, example. To work in a Mach domain of 2 or 2.5. To do that, it is obvious we can't change much the configuration, okay? The configuration is uh, more or less dictator dictated by the uh, seeker diameter, by the shape of the wings, by the shape of the body. <coughs> the most of the drag is <coughs> result, uh, re resulting from the body shape. So actually what we need to do is uh, make the rocket uh, motor stronger. To do that we press rocket motor. Now, you can see here there are two charges in this a rocket motor one is the slotted cylinder which uh, burns all at once it is the booster 
and the other is the sustain, okay? For example, if we press fire, we can see how this burns. First, the slotted cylinder burns from inside out very quickly. It's resulting in high thrust. Then the cigar shape charge burns from the end. Also, it burns more slowly and so produces less uh, thrust, less, less uh, pressure. You can also see the pressures by pressing here. Here you see typical values which are uh, acceptable for rocket motors, which are about 100 atmospheres uh, in a boost stage and 40 during uh, sustain. Okay, <clears throat> let's make this uh, rocket motor twice as uh, capable as before. Let's select the slotted cylinder. Uh, let's, let's make it, uh, for example, uh, one and a half times longer. Instead of 40 centimeters, let's type in 60 centimeters. Okay, let's take also the cigar shape. Let's make this one also 60 centimeters. As you can see, the casing of the motor readjusted to contain, uh, to encompass these charges. Now let's uh, make a test fire and see what it does. Okay, you can see the combustion pressure uh, much, much higher. Also the sustained uh, pressure is much higher. Uh, <clears throat> for those who understand, you can see also the uh, uh, pressure efficiency uh, upon the exit, which is uh, the nozzle. Uh, the nozzle is uh, <coughs> more or less efficient, uh, perhaps uh, not, uh, not enough in, uh, in sea level, but at altitude it will be much better. Now let's see also the thrust. Thrust is much greater. Okay, <coughs> let's make a save to this uh, motor, see what happens when we look at the missile. First thing we, we see is that the missile itself uh, needs to be longer to accommodate this rocket engine, so we will press resize shape. This resizes the shape. Okay, now the shape fits the motor. All the data is updated. We can again make a test fire, see what the result. Let's look at the mark. Well, actually, we didn't do so much. Actually, the map did not rise by much. So maybe we need to increase the thrust a little bit. Of course, the missile now leaves much more time, but it's not that relevant anymore. We need it to fly faster for shorter times. So let's do that. Let's go into the rocket motor. Let's try to make a larger thrust. For example, let's make a throat diameter of three centimeters. Let's um, also press with the exit diameter. Let's make uh, the outside of the cigar larger. For example, um, 15 centimeters. Let's make the outside of the slotted 15 centimeters and uh, okay let's even increase that a little bit apply save yes fire let's see what happens pressure 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 okay pressure is okay time of uh, flight more or less okay okay let's save that uh, let's move to the missile itself again we need to resize the shape let's uh, save everything let's see what happens now let's see what happens to the market not so high not so high, closer to two, 
missile fly a little bit faster. Not bad. Okay. That's it. That's it.